we go to the land of legends gujarat to see the world's tallest statue the statue of unity along with 13 major attractions around it so stay with us as we take you to a magical ride to india's most prestigious landmark over a course of 3 days check out the full 3 day itinerary shared at the end of this video we pre booked a cab which dropped us from vadodara airport to the resort in kevadia we'll mention the contact details in the description box 8:30 and we have checked in into the resort welcome to sou eco camp resort the time is 12 o'clock but um, we had a very early morning flight and hence we requested for a early check in and thankfully we got it so we have checked in into the room The place is really nice. It's a lot of greenery around here. Um, even the rooms are inspired by nature, so you will see a lot of green elements inside the room. So I really like the way the interiors are done, and it's quite spacious. It's roomy, it's airy, and the best thing is the view. The view is amazing. It totally faces a lake where the boating and everything happens. So the view is amazing. Yellow, yellow, yellow. But uh, one thing to remember is that uh, the rooms which are on the first floor has a very spiral staircase. So if you're traveling with senior citizens, it probably will be a little difficult for them to climb the staircase. So then you can always opt for the rooms which are on the ground floor. After a quick breakfast at the resort, we have stepped out for sightseeing. Here we go. The nutrition park. Our first stop is at a nutrition park, wherein a toy train takes you to six different stations, each station covering one aspect of nutrition. The minute you step in, the beautifully constructed structures will definitely leave you mesmerized. स्टेशन देर आर सिक्स स्टेशन इन टोटल सो लेट्स सी मैं भी रुकना है गाइस आपका स्वागत है कौन सा होटल जाना कैसे विकास आहा चिल्ड्रन आर मेड टू अंडरस्टैंड द कांसेप्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन through the help of videos interactive games and activities abhi so ko taazi hari ghaas ana bahut pasand hai they have beautifully implemented uh, virtual reality and augmented reality So I mean the experience was surreal. Wow! Wow! What is all this? All this? All this? There is also a little play zone inside one of the stations. huge installations in every corner which will definitely blow your mind so this is our last stop the sixth stop which is a highly show and all and every bit of it has been so amazing so 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 amazing this nutrition park is definitely a must visit if you are out here at its time is 12:45 we have headed for lunch at ekta cafe which is located inside ekta nursery one needs to pre book the thali out here which can only be done online we'll be providing all the links in the description box 
and here comes the tribal thali. How is it? It's very authentic. Nothing like we have tasted ever before in anywhere like cities or anywhere. It's authentic. This place is so peaceful, so filled with greenery all around. When you come here, you just can't hear anything. It's just so quiet. And it's such a lovely place to just chill out. So, if you want some peaceful me time, then this is the place. Ekta nursery. We are waiting for a bus to arrive to our next destination, which is... Which is... Unity. So there are free bus services that run across the SOU campus which takes you from one attraction to the other. <laughs> Tickets to the Statue of Unity can only be booked online there is no option to book it offline. There are several slots in a day which you can choose from. We have opted for the 3 pm slot. We'll share the booking link in the description box. So as you can see the entire pathway is completely covered. There is very good amount of shade. So you don't really need to carry a hat or cap. Time is 2.45 and look where we are! Welcome to the world's tallest statue standing at 182 meters which is 597 feet tall the pride of the nation welcome to Statue of Unity the entire place is so spectacularly made just look at the views so you don't even have to walk so much because look what there is. Look at this Headed to the Statue of Unity viewing gallery. When you enter, there is this museum where several facts are being displayed. So let's take a look around. The statue is that of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who was one of the most prominent leaders of the Indian independence movement and responsible for the unification of 562 princely states to India, and hence the name Statue of Unity. So here we have an exact replica of the face of Sardar Vallabhai Patel that we see in the Statue of Unity. This is one-fifth the scale of the actual statue. Another fun fact, okay. Sardar Vallabhai Patel's statue, the Statue of Unity, is almost double the size of, the height of the Statue of Liberty. Ooh. Statue of Liberty is somewhere around 90 meters and uh, the Statue of Unity is about 180 meters. Now we are headed to the viewing gallery for which you need to take a high speed elevator. The viewing gallery is located on the 45th floor which is the chest height of the statue and up there you can actually see the buttons of his coat. The view from up there is that of the Narmada River and of the Sardar Sarovar Dam which in itself is impeccable. I really don't think camera can do justice but this is a very very different experience. This is a surreal experience. Going further up all the way to his toes. Now we are standing at the feet of the Statue of Unity and just look at the height. There are certain things you cannot really explain. The feel and um, 
the feeling about it. it you cannot really put it into words. You have to come and experience it. This is one such place. There are two options. You can either view the uh, laser show from the SOU campus or you can view it from the helipad. Not sure how the view is going to be from there. From the SOU campus, it's definitely amazing. So, this is how the helipad uh, campus looks like. Come, Daddy will tell you. अंग्रेजों को ललकारने वाले पहले स्वतंत्रता संग्राम के एक सक्रिय सिपाही थे झवेर भाई पटेल अब तो पूरे देश में लोग वल्लभ भाई के नाम के कस्बे खाने लगे बापू के सभी शिष्यों और साथियों को छोड़ना पड़ा Definitely, if you have a choice, you must choose the SOU campus because that's a lot more closer to the statue, so you get a better view from the SOU campus. Time is 7:30, and we are walking towards our last destination, which is the Glow Garden. The Unity Glow Garden starts at 7 pm post sunset and the whole garden gets beautifully lit up as the name suggests it's a small garden good for photography and takes about 15 to 30 minutes to cover kids will surely love this place tickets to this place can only be booked online We'll be sharing all the booking links in the description box. Time is 8.30 and we are headed back to the resort. After a quick dinner at the resort, it was time to indulge in some musical nights. In the first half, we will be indulging in the activities at the resort, which includes kayaking, waterfall, pool, and a jacuzzi. In the second half, we will proceed towards other attractions around SOU. Time is 9.30 and we are out for breakfast. Breakfast spread was limited, comprising of Indian vegetarian options only. Uh, breakfast was a mixed review. Certain things tasted really well on the menu, like the aloo paratha was really good, the okma was good, but the idli didn't taste just as good. Mm. What else? The Maggi, Maggi was also just average. It's 10 a.m. and we have come for kayaking. Truly an amazing feeling. It's so peaceful, it's quiet. The sound of water. So that is our cottage here. <laughs> the one where the curtain is open. Oh wow. Seafood. 
Yes, sweet child. We're headed to the swimming pool. Yay! Are going for the cruise today. So, uh, for the cruise, you have to pre book it online. Uh, we have taken the 3 pm slot. So, this is the waiting area wherein a buggy comes and takes you to the main uh, cruise terminal. cruise online there are several slots available there is also a dinner cruise which is facilitated by the fun big statue ever big statue ever oh yes it is sweetheart it is the world's tallest statue Daddy. cannot stop viewing i mean every time you see it you just get blown out about a minute from there uh, we have reached the bus stop and we are taking the next bus to uh, which one which one time is 5 pm and we are at which one this entire place is so beautifully made there's a lot more inside though but the entry itself looks really amazing the garden is divided into various sections, each section depicting a continent. For example, this one is Europe. And here we have the African continent. Uh, you can see Antarctica which is all white, covered with snow. Vishwa 1, which is just walking distance from the Statue of Unity, covers plants and trees from seven different continents. Also, there are theme-based homes depicting each continent to just sit down and relax. Another amazing structure. Let's see what this is. A house from Bali. You can actually literally go inside these houses and check out how it looks from inside. to wish for one is free so <laughs> another reason to definitely visit this place it is incredible it is very beautifully made us must visit this place 
time is 5.30 and we are at the Valley of Flowers. This is loaded with flowers. If you are a person who loves to be, who loves to watch flowers, who loves nature, who loves greenery, this is a place for you. So this side is the glow garden which we came last night and here we have the valley of flowers. So it's basically uh, just close to each other, they are just into each other. So instead of doing this on separate days, if you intend to come to valley of flowers, you can do both of them on the same day. We are back in glow garden because one little munchkin here was all attracted by the lights and she wanted to come back and dance. Last stop for the day, Narmada Aarti. Divine closure to a perfect day. What a vibe. This day couldn't have ended better. So day 3 and uh, today we have checked out from the resort. Uh, we have some time since we have an evening flight. So again we are heading back to the campus, the SOU campus. And we are going to see Samira's favorite dino tree. Time is 11.30 and we are at ah, Dynatrial. Ah. Free to the dinosaur trail is free so you can explore this place for free. This is called Rajasaurus or Narmadensis because its fossil was found here in the banks of river Narmada. It's amazing the way they have made and they have maintained everything. It's really beautiful. The dinosaurs are really huge. If you're a child or if you are a dino lover, then this place is a definite visit. Remains were found in 1983 in Mahisagar district of Gujarat. So basically, this dinosaur is a Guju. Guju dinosaur. Small park just took, took us about 10 to 15 minutes to cover, but it was really nice uh, the way the dinosaurs. There were about three dinosaurs, but they were really huge. The pet zone is right opposite the jungle safari. Hello, buddy. Red zone is definitely a place you can do in daytime because a uh, major part of it is covered so the sun won't hit you directly. Pretty house. 
can take it to the house? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mako, look at the sky. That is day above. Oh my god. Last stop in Statue of Unity, which is going to end. Not easy for us. It's a maze garden. It's the maze garden. Remember Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire? This is the maze garden orientation center. There will be a five minute show here. Let's see what it is. The maze garden here is India's largest maze or bhool bulaya. So we're gonna get inside and let's see if we can find a way out. Yeah, I can hear the sound of water here. That means we're somewhere close to the waterfall, are we? Oh my god, you did it so confidently! We have reached the center of the maze. We have, we have, we have reached the chakra view and reached the center. You can call me Abhimanyu. <laughs> So thankfully, uh, it just took us about less than 10 minutes to reach inside. It was fun. <laughs> now it's time to go back. Let's see how soon we can finish that. Whoa! <laughs> I would, you <laughs> And that's a beautiful message for all of us. Never give up. You will find your way. Yay! We made it! We did it! Yay! And that's how we concluded our three-day vacation at India's most prestigious place, the Statue of Unity. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Hola Sam. So bye bye for now. Until next time.